So we are at the finish line with the completion of this shower build. This is the grate that was delayed, hence our ledger board. So we have a black Schluter grate, black trim kit shower head, along with your white Carrera and your gray and black veins and movement. So again, we're at the finish line, about to complete the shower in the next couple of days, and then we have to install a double vanity as well. And then that's a wrap for this project. And we move on to the next one. So let's unload the uh, van and get right to it. And here we are, we pulled our ledger board and we ran our band to waterproof all of the holes from the screws. It's time to do some quick fun work of this niche, complete it, cap this bench off, install the shower pan drain kit, and tomorrow we will finalize with this last row and drywall vanity will be in as well. So here we go. Let's get right back to it. So we bought a slab, nine foot slab. This is the partial piece of the slab. My van can't hold a nine foot slab, so we bring our grinder, cut off this piece so we can fit it in the van. What we're gonna do is fabricate a bench top. Here's the template. We'll cut it out of this. We're gonna keep the bold nose for the bench. It gives it a nice, neat, uh, finished feel. And it also, extends the, uh, the size of the bench top. So let's fabricate, cut up the bench, the sill for the niche, as well as the uh, shower curb. Here we go. time to install our bench top. We have three quarters of an inch engineered stone. It is Arctic white. Our prefabricated benches already come with a pitch and slope out into the shower pan. So let's install. to install our pan tile, our final row, and finish up this niche. Okay, the shower pan's installed. It is now finally time to install our final row here and complete the curb.
Here's our long 60 inch curb, three quarters of an inch, the same course as the bench top and the niche. Time to install this curb here. Now installing the last piece of this shower build, the curb. We skim the top with our all set, thin set, and then we will notch the back of this course. Let's show you what I'm talking about. And there you go, our low profile shower curb. Finished, I believe it's about three and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. Looks clean, looks subtle, looks modern. Project's done. The tools are cleared out. Carpet's vacuumed. Let's show you the completion of this beautiful Carrera style shower. So again, this is the original flooring. We installed a new all-in-one vanity kit. Soft closed doors, marble top, undermount sinks, Jack and Jill. We have matte black finish for our faucets. Moving on to the custom walk-in shower. This was a tub to walk-in conversion. We'll start with the field wall tile. 12 by 24 rectified high gloss Carrera porcelain. 1 16th inch grout joints. We installed and laid this out at a 50% offset. pre-planning, we ended up with a full tile right below the niche. A full tile along the niche as well as a full tile above the niche. A little pre-planning goes a long way. All walls are flat, plumb, and square. And as you can see, we lined up and connected all veins as best as possible so that it looks like a wall of stone. installed a prefabricated Schluter niche. 12 by 20. Again, we have veins flowing and connecting. We trim this out with matte white Schluter Jolly. Miters at both corners, very tight, very clean. Three quarters of an inch for our sill. This is an engineered quartz. We cut and fabricated the sill, the curb, as well as this bench top. Niche turned out great, symmetrical. We installed a new mixing valve, raised the shower head. We'll swing on over here to the bench. It's a large prefab Schluter bench. Our client wanted a bench to sit on. Let's go down here. This is a drain grate by Schluter. It is removable. Let's swing on over to our low profile curb. Engineered quartz, little over three inches wide and three inches tall. We have a porcelain sheeted shower pan. This was a fun and quick 
build. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. On to the next one if you want to see more of these shower builds. Don't forget to tap that bell notification right down there so that you get notified for new videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.